All righty. What's up, ladies? How's it going? I hope that you are doing well. I have a really powerful experience to share with you today. And this is just really the crux of everything that I have learned, everything that I do, all of the experiences that I have had from the time that I was eight years old. And I thought to myself, well, actually someone said to me that um, your father doesn't like overweight women. And I began a thought process of trying to not be that. (laughs) Whatever that is, I'm going to not be that. But then being very confused by my relationship with food and my body and not knowing what was okay and what was right and what was, I just, I, I was so confused. And the way that I thought about myself and my body and about food was consistent with then how I acted and reacted and responded to life and kind of created this bit of nightmare for myself with um, beating myself up with food, uh, binge eating, emotional eating, um, you know, dieting. Really, I think beating myself up with food, that probably is like that just like sporadically came out. I don't know if I really like describe it in that way typically, but that probably is what it is. Cause it was this like deprivation and then overindulgence and then deprivation and then overindulgence. And, and, and we, either way, either, you know, camp that I was in, I was like, oh, I should be in the other one. Oh, I should be over here. And, oh, I should be over here. It was, it was just wild and crazy. And it took me a long time to change my mind. And that's literally why I created this group, why I, as a hypnotherapist, take time out of my life and my day to um, be present with other women and have my, my morning accountability call, you know, five days a week. And I have my coaching group and I put together these hypnosis sessions and I, I come in here, you know, weekly and um, share with you the different things that I'm learning along the journey, because it's not just one thing, right? It wasn't like, oh, I learned this one thing five years ago. And now here you go. It's this constant journey and evolution of changing my mind about myself, about my body, about food, about my intentions with food, about what I'm doing each and every day. And I had a really powerful experience the last couple of days. I haven't really slept very well, Um, I've been up, you know what it is like, like in the middle of the night, it's like one o'clock, it's two o'clock, it's three o'clock. You're looking at the clock. It's like, oh my God, I got to go to sleep. And I had this like head cold thing happening where you'd go to one side and then like the nasal would drip and you couldn't breathe. And then you had to go to the other side and then it would like slowly drip over and then just uncomfortable and hot and just like my, just not feeling, not, not loving life. And the thought of then having to get up, cause you know, you just fall asleep like three minutes before the alarm goes off for your day. Like it's just the way that it always happens. And so that happened this morning and I had my six 30. And so of course I'm thinking to myself like, Oh, I don't really, I, don't, I mean, I'm not going to go to that. I don't even know if I'm going to go to work, like forget everything, you know, like when you're sick and you're tired and you're not feeling well. And that can happen on a lot of different levels, right? Sometimes you've like had an argument with someone that you love and you kind of just feel like overwhelmed and you don't sleep well and you just kind of feel sick and tired. Sometimes the way that we eat makes us sick and tired. Like there's lots of different, there's the mental, the emotional, the physical, the spiritual, there's lots of different aspects of being sick and tired. But this particular one, I was sick and tired and I didn't want to do what I had committed to doing. And it just kind of seemed like, well, they'll understand, right? Like the other ladies there. I mean, we all have days where we just can't show up for stuff and like, it's not really that big of a deal. And it's not, you know, I mean, on a lot of levels, it's the same thing when I come up again, not, not against, but when I, when things come up in my life where it's like, Oh, this little bite here, this little piece, or this going out to eat or, or whatever it is, like, is it that big of a deal? No, obviously in the scheme of things, it's not really a big deal. And it's not, it's not my only option. It's not my only option to have that thing just because someone handed it to me or made something or whatever it is, right? It's not my only option to not show up for the things that I've committed to just because I'm not feeling well. That might be an option, but it's not my only option. I don't have to do that. And so I decided that I was going to do something a little bit different this morning and I was just going to show up hundred percent. I was just going to change my mind about it. I was going to, you know, just you know, muster up, just be there hundred percent. So I got up with the alarm 
I took a nice hot shower. So it kind of like <laughs> gets all of the stuff going and flowing and, and getting out of the body. And I just kind of, you know what I mean? Just like put a little lotion on the face. And I went into the session and if you don't know the rise and shine in the morning, it's at six 30, it's just 15 minutes. And I'm telling you, I've been doing this really consistently. I mean, I, I, this is my usual morning routine anyway, but I haven't actually done it at an exact time and been like, had other people to show up for before this. Right. And so I'm kind of like inviting you into like my morning routine and it's really keeping me accountable on a level that I don't have when it's just, when it's just myself. And so I show up and I did my five minutes of journaling where I am, you know, very intentional about like, what would make today great? What are the three, the three gratitudes, the I am statements. And I consider what I had yesterday for my food. And I consider what I'm going to have today. And really just getting into that practice of, of lifting the judgment and the blame and the shame about any of that stuff and just seeing it for what it is and having that consistency. And it's really been amazing. And then five minutes of stretching when my body did not want to do it. I'm telling you, I could have slept and stayed in that bed for the rest of the 24 hours and been just fine. Do not bother me. But I got up and I did my stretching because I said that I was going to. And I'm telling you, there was something that like changed and transformed in my body and in my mind while I was in the middle of showing up for myself and my body in this way. And it was like, I could, I could feel that it was like being released, that it was being released in a way that, that was different than I had ever experienced before. It reminds me of when my son was little, he was like three or four years old. And he said, it was like sometime in the afternoon. And he was like, you know, mom, he's like, I'm not really feeling very well. My energy is pretty low. Like I'm feeling kind of tired. I'm going to go outside and run around a little bit and like get some energy. And it was one of those moments that like popped and I went, oh my gosh, the way that I have created my world of like, oh, if I'm not like feeling that great, if I'm feeling down or low energy or tired, that it's like, then the, the only right move is to take a nap, is to rest, is to watch TV, is to Netflix binge, is to go on my phone and, and um, candy crush for an hour or like, you know, whatever. And it was one of those moments where I'm like, wow, he's like, he's so in tune with his body. Like he so gets what his body actually needs. And I was like, that's so cool. I wish I could be like that someday. <laughs> Like I always wished I was that kind of person that like when I was frustrated or stressed out, I would go for a walk or a run or a jog or whatever. Like I'm, I was like, that's like, cr that's crazy to me. But <laughs> what happened this morning was one of those moments where like, I just showed up and I did it anyway. And my body was like, thank you. That's exactly what I needed. And then we did the five minutes of med meditation. And when I say we, I actually mean I, which was hilarious because the, nobody else showed up except for me. So I was there for that 15 minutes and it was like so perfect. It was exactly what I needed. And it, it transformed my day, my perception, my attitude, my energy, my health. I mean, in a way that, that I have not really ever experienced before because I've like pushed through things and went to work not feeling well. I pushed through, through things and like taking, taking care of my kid when I wasn't feeling well, I have, you know, just said, screw it to everything and stayed in bed for days at a time. Like there are things that I have done, but I have not really ever nurtured myself in that way where it was that, where it was the journaling, the stretching and the meditation in that specific time slot just for me. And it was so nourishing. It was so wonderful that I just had to pop in here and share this with you and tell you how amazing that was. Cause I didn't know that that was an option, right? I didn't know that was an option. That wasn't something that I was taught. It's not really anything that any of my friends, God bless you. If any of my friends are watching this right now, I love you, but that was not really the type of stuff I necessarily talk about. And I certainly didn't le learn it at home when I was a kid. So these kinds of little things of of changing our mind, changing our mind. When we can change our mind and open up to possibilities that are beyond our past experience, that are not so far different from our present experience that we can't even fathom them, like fathom them, you know, we don't want to go 
that far because then our mind just kind of closes off. It's like, there's no link to it, but just enough where we take what we've already got and say, is there another option? And that's the way we can take our mind and begin to expand our comfort zone and begin to expand our awareness and understanding of what's possible for us little by little by little, taking what we've already got and just adding a little piece to it. Where can I soften around the edges? Where can I make some little changes that would be, that would benefit me the most? Where can I show up and, and do what I said that I was going to do, even though I don't want to? All of these little things begin to allow us to grow in a way that is beyond what we thought was possible for us. And then when you have the things like the rise and shine that I put together, then you get to have an opportunity to have a set time each day to then focus that growth and that attention in the direction that you want to go. So it's not just sporadic all over the place. Okay. Well, that was my um, joyous moment. I wanted to share with you today. I am just, I am adore you. I love you. I hope that you're having a really wonderful day that you are drinking a lot of water and feeling really good and making those little adjustments in the way that you think, act, behave, and then respond to life. I love you. I'll talk to you soon.